Yeah. What's going on, everyone? Woo! Thank you, everyone, for coming. I know we have people from Binghamton. I know people from New Falls are possibly in route. Geneseo as well, and obviously Albany. We're going to march pushing this gigantic border of student loan debt up to the Capitol and deliver a failing report card to the governor. If you haven't heard, they are raising SUNY tuition by 30% over the next five years. Meanwhile, they are cutting crucial academic programs at our campuses. I don't know about you, but that doesn't make any sense. They are asking us to pay more for less, and that is completely unacceptable. Now, Cuomo said you wouldn't tax, but New York City 2020 is definitely taxing because he's asking for more money from people who can't afford it, students. And I'm asking for him to extend the millionaire's tax and really ask the people who can afford to give up a little bit of their money so people like us can afford to go to schools and get an education. That's right, tax yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
31%, uh, $31 million cut to the TAP program. Uh, I go around Binghamton University campus entirely too often, interrupting people to tell them this quite often, right? <laughs> and uh, most of the time, uh, people are very upset, right? What I hear is, you know, this is going to price me out of education, uh, my brothers and sisters can't afford this, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, so what does this mean for, for SUNY looking forward, right? We, we're turning a, a public institution, which is supposed to be a, a engine of equality, right? It's supposed to be a collective investment in all our uh, shared well-being, and we're turning it into a, uh, a fortress of inequality, right? We're turning it into a less diverse, less accessible, uh, quasi-private school, right? Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey, Cuomo! These budget cuts have got to go! Hey, hey, Cuomo! These budget cuts have got to go! Folks, I am a faculty member at UAlbany. I teach in the English department. I teach in the Globalization Studies department. <laughs> Uh, I'm so proud to stand in solidarity with the students who walked up that hill pushing that burden of debt. Uh, it's absolutely unforgivable, the situation that we find ourselves in. Let's go ahead and name the rationality or the logic that underpins all of this, right? The state has decided to create a de facto tax on students, on your backs, that's predicated on the availability of student loan debt. We allow you to go into enormous debt in order to pay for our own social problems, right? Boom! At the same time, the university is being restructured into a profit-generating institution where research is measured only by whether it can generate by private outside funding, right? Um, we have to call this what it is. It's just a give back by 1% Andy to the donors who support his campaign, to his political benefactors. It is exactly that. This is class warfare of the worst kind from on top. And in response, we have to assert a rationality of our own, a different kind of rationality, right? We want a rational taxation plan, one that understands social good instead of simply the needs of business, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. This begins with an extension of the millionaire's tax. But that's only the beginning. That's a modest, tiny beginning to what we need. Another rationality is that we want a university system of the highest intellectual quality that is affordable and accessible to the citizens of the state. We want the university to house innovative, cutting edge, comprehensive research, absolutely. Teaching excellence, absolutely. Um, but we don't want it done on a specious notion of innovation that is only about the welfare of a few private interests. Uh, Hello! Hello! Hey. Hello. Hey. Uh, my name is Simon. I'm an undergraduate at New Albany in the English department. As students, we are responsible for reasserting our humanity, for refusing to be treated as dollar signs in the eyes of greedy politicians. Now this is only possible through the formation of a collective student identity. We must recognize ourselves in each other and recognize our individual lives as irrevocably intertwined with that of our fellow students. Yes. Accordingly, yes. we must understand the actual actualization of our individual selves as utterly dependent on the realization of a collective identity. This collective identity is accessible only through collective resistance. Yeah. Yeah. So, whether the millionaire's tax is extended or not, whether SUNY 2020 is repealed, let us understand our victory or our lack of as dependent. Okay, so let us understand our victory as dependent not on the responsiveness of a government shown to be completely detached from the needs of real people. Rather, let us measure our success in terms of our ability to inform, to activate, and to mobilize our fellow students.
excellent to see that we are not pushing this huge ball of student debt up the hill by ourselves. Unfortunately, it won't fit in this building. Our student debt will not fit in this building. What does fit in this building? Money and corporations. Yeah. yeah. At SUNY New Paltz a few weeks ago, someone put up a colored only sign over a water fountain. Boo! This is a national disgrace. It is a public shame. And putting money and funneling students into business, into technology, is not going to alleviate these social ills that we continue to face to this day. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. People. Maybe some people in government cannot make a decision between what we really need in terms of social action and justice and moving people and connecting people through members of through unity and interconnectedness yeah. and finding our common bonds and a profit, a cold hard profit that they can spend on a mansion far away from everyone else where they can put up walls in between the people that they're screwing over and the people that they love. Yeah. Well, we're here to say that there are no walls between people in New York State anymore. We're breaking them down, am I yeah. right? Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Woo! As a side note, too, just to let you know, this, was, this day was part of a statewide action in solidarity with students down at CUNY as well. They're going to be marching to their first yeah. and be faced with a glass door, yeah. be looked yeah. down upon by people in suits, at innocent, hard-working students, people who are working for the middle class, people who represent the 99% of this country. Yeah. We are not a lobbying group. We are not a corporate, private interest. We are the people. How many times are we going to have to come back here? You know, they may see that we're looking tired. We may be looked down upon as criminals. You've seen police brutalization across the country. Thankfully, we've kept it nonviolent and peaceful today. But how many times are we going to have to come here? Can't they see that we're hardworking students who are standing up for what is behind our Constitution? The yeah. people? That's right. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 So you know what? I say we give Cuomo another call to come out here because this is not fair. Yeah. I've come here a dozen times. I've never spoken to anyone, maybe an intern who throws my papers in the trash. Yeah, yeah. So let's call out Cuomo another time. Cuomo, Cuomo, come on out. Face the students you sold out. Cuomo, Cuomo, come on out. Face the students you sold out. Cuomo, Cuomo, come on out. Face the students you sold out. Cuomo, Cuomo, come on out. Face the students you sold out. Cuomo, Cuomo, come on out. Face the students you sold out. Let the silence ring loudly as we see and hear the absence of democracy. In a vigil for all the protesters across the state that have been victimized and faced with brutality for speaking up, let the silence ring. Seeing as this is yet another failed attempt, temporarily, let us walk out and let them know that we will be coming back, we are not giving up, and that our voices need to be heard. Until then, like I said before, let the silence ring.